What is up, fellow elemental overlords, aka shamans? It's Basil back with another season of Discovery video. Today, we're actually going to be going over how to get your Maelstrom weapon rune. Um, I've not seen any videos about it. Obviously, there are your written guides, um, but we're kind of gonna gonna kind of go through this and see how you get this um, and show you all the steps that are actually required. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start getting into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is run RFK, Razor Fin Crawl. Um, you can do this at level 25. That's actually the level that I did it myself. Uh, but unfortunately the item that drops off of the last boss can only be used at level 30. So, um, when you get a scroll from the last boss of RFK, uh, at level 30 or above, you are going to be able to obtain a quest. This quest is going to be sending you to Rao Cliffrunner. He is behind the innkeeper inside of um, Free Wind Post. That's that's the word I'm looking for here in Thousand Needles. Um, when you get there, you talk to him, you turn the quest in. He's going to send you to uh, Hillsbread Foothills. Uh, so if you have a fast way to get over there, sweet. If not, you know, it's classic. Get used to running because you're going to do this multiple times from multiple different zones for this quest. Um, so when you get to Terran Mill, uh, you're going to find the river to the east of Terran Mill. Basically, you just go towards the graveyard and then head straight towards the river and follow the river north. Once you get through, um, it's going to look like you're entering Alterac Mountains, but you're technically still in Hillsbread Foothills. Um, you're going to find Bathra, the Wind Watcher. Um, talk to him. Wowhead says you do a slash prey. I never did a slash prey. I just talked to the guy. Um, so yeah, you turn in that quest, and he's going to give you three quests. Now, this is the annoying part of this quest chain. Uh, it's going to have you collecting 10 wind orbs from elementals inside Desolus. It's going to have you collecting 10 water orbs from not water elementals. They're the water moss creeper mobs inside Dustwallow Marsh. And 10 earth orbs from the earth elementals um, just really super close to Kargoth uh, there in the Badlands. So this is by far the most annoying part of the quest. Um... <clears throat> My least favorite part, which is weird because most people never really said it about this particular zone, but the Dust Wallow Marsh was the most difficult one for me to get. Um, it may have just been because there were so many other shamans there farming to get the uh, particular items. These items are not 100% drop chance from my experience. They're probably 30 to 40% drop chance. Um, and yeah the the water elementals there are a little bit higher level um and the wind elementals so a lot of people complain a lot about the desolus ones and that's because in desolus you're finding the wind elementals now these wind elementals are scattered pretty much across the map uh but if you look on the video you'll see that i'm in one particular area this is the place that i found the kind of had the best response for me now your experience may vary uh, i know a lot of people were saying there's a place uh up north um that kind of has a little bit better spawn rate but for me this was the best place now um you're going to th basically the water elemental dudes uh, they're going to be all throughout the zone um, from what I gathered, any of the moss crawler particular style mobs will drop the item that you need. Uh, but um, if you are going in this at a lower level, like I was, I'm I was level 35 when I was in uh, Dust Wall and Marsh. Um, you're gonna want to stick up north t uh, near you know the town. Now you you go through all the waterways, find the mobs. Uh, you know, you're probably going to have to kill quite a few crocolisks and um, spiders as well, just because your aggro range, for some reason on these mobs, has like three miles. So, yeah, you're going to snag those. Now, when it comes to the earth orbs, these are the easiest part of the quest because these mobs are in one particular location. 
Uh, you're going to go to Cargath. If you haven't been to Cargath, you know, go to uh, go to Rothy Highlands, go south through uh, through Wetlands, and then you're going to go south through Loch Madon, and then south yet again into Badlands. Um, it's the easiest way I found to get there. If you have a better way to get there, please let me know because the next character I make may not have a flight path. You know, yeah. Uh, never claim to be the best at getting places. Um, now, once you get to Cargoth, you're going to go straight east of town. Uh, and then you are going to find basically a little hillside or a cliffside. Um, where you're just going to start fighting mobs. These are all earth elementals. They range between 37 and 40. Uh, I only saw one level 40. However, 39 seems to be pretty common. Uh, so keep that in mind if you are going here at a lower level like I was. Yet again, level 35. Uh, anywho, once you get all of your quest items, all 30 of these orbs, uh, you are going to return to Bathra in... Uh, you know, in, in Hillsbrad Foothills. Uh, I recommend grabbing one crystal vial, just one, um, because the next part of your quest literally just has you giving him a crystal vial. Uh, so you're going to turn in your three quests. He's going to give you a quest to bring him a crystal vial. Turn in that quest, and then he's going to give you another quest. This sends you oh, back to Free Wind Post back in uh, Thousand Needles. So you're going to hearth if you got there or you know take the long way so get to um free wind post you know get there talk to rock cliff runner again once you talk to rao cliff runner um you're going to notice some changes in the zone it's going to be very rainy uh which is very very much not like thousand needles we all know it's dry as can be um then you're going to notice that you have an item in your inventory, which is a SAPTA type deal. I can't remember the exact name of it. I'm sure I'll have it on screen here. Um, once you have this item in your inventory, you are going to be able to talk to the flight master in free wind post, and you're going to have an extra dialogue option. This dialogue option is going to say uh, something along the lines of bring me to the eye of the storm. You are going to take said option, and you're going to notice you're going to fly. Uh, it's still going to be there in Thousand Needles, but it's going to be rainy. So once you take the flight path over, you are going to see lots of mobs in front of you when you land. These are going to include a level 38 elite mob. And some casters and some skeletons and all that good stuff. What you're going to want to do when you get here is go ahead and kill the first caster mob in front of you. He's usually going to come with a skeleton helper dude. Um, that is my recommendation to go ahead and take down first. Make sure you interrupt him. But kill the skeleton dude first. He kind of hurts. Once you take care of those two, you're free. Now, if you are doing this at a lower level like I was, if you try to walk up to this caster, you're going to have a problem because your aggro range on the elemental elite mob is going to be very high. So if you walk up to him, you are within his aggro range. He's going to come to you and it's just not going to be a pleasant time. So what you're going to do is if you die there... <laughs> like I did, you are going to talk to the spirit healer and say, return me back where I was. And then she's going to do that. And then you go back and you try again. So now that we've died and went back through this again, killed the first dude and you are good. At this point, all you have to do, contend with is this level 38 Elite Elemental. I know you're going to see other mobs over to the side. Those are not that important. Uh, you can finish this without even aggroing them at all. So, the next thing you're going to do is max range pull this water or this Elemental. You're going to pull the Elemental. You are going to destroy him. And he's going to drop an eyeball. Once you get this eyeball, you take it back to Ralph Cliffrunner in Free Wind Post, 
And once you do that, he's going to send you back to uh, Bathra. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, head back to Bathra in north of Terran Mill. And that's it. You got your rune. You're going to go there. You're going to talk to him. And he's going to give you that. Now, you are also, the quest with you killing the elemental elite is going to give you a blue set of wrists. Always nice if you if if you need a new pair of wrists that are you know pretty good. This might be a good option for you to just do, even if you don't really care about the Maelstrom weapon. Now, in the footage behind after all this, I'm going to kind of display a little bit of the combat now that I did get Mael Maelstrom weapon and just kind of show you how it goes and seeing the instant cast first off heal if I need it. Second off, instant cast lightning bolts that are free. It's really nice. It takes a little bit. It's not very super quick on the buildup of your five uh, things of Maelstrom. But once you get them, you get a free instant cast spell. Which if you're doing dungeons, if you are wanting to do some AoE, that's really good to use with your chain lightning. Um, if you're a healer, it's going to be really nice for chain heals. You know, it's all around, in my opinion, really sweet. In the end, that's not the rune I'm going to be using. I'm, I'm a really big fan of AoE grinding and stuff, so I'm probably going to be going more along the lines of the Fire Nova. But, yeah, that's it. Alright, so with all that being said... Um, Thank you for sticking through with me. I know this is a little bit longer of a video. I just wanted to make sure you had all the information you needed. Anywho, I uh, hope you all learned something from this. I hope it helped you out. Uh, if it did, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Everything to help out the algorithm. You know how it goes. Uh, but anyways, until next time, Elemental Overlords, have a fantastic day.